I yeah, I am too. I can. I yeah, did. and that's why I asked them. They, they said they said he talks through his mask. I'm not. I'm not. I, I, you I, could I, tell it too. My wife yeah. says she could tell. You could tell it. Yeah. I, I had to. Yeah, I mean. Well, yeah. plus, I'm so you know. I make uh, the hot air. I have. <laughs> <laughs> It'd get to my glasses. I couldn't even see right. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Richard, you'll test my sound out at some point. That's what I'm trying to do right now, sir. Okay. Here we go. Yes, we're
welcome to the newly renovated 1940 WPA Gymnasium on the campus of South Arkansas Community College here in beautiful El Dorado, Arkansas. This is Derek Moore, Vice President for Student Services and Athletic Director here at South Ark. I'm subbing in today for our play-by-play -play announcer, Dr. Bentley Wallace, our president. Today's first game will be South Ark Lady Stars versus the Arkansas State University Mid-South Lady Greyhounds. The Greyhounds reside in West Memphis, Arkansas. This will actually be the first regional game for the Lady Stars. The Lady Greyhounds, they come in undefeated at a record of 8-0. They are ranked number seven nationally. Your, lady, your South Ark Lady Stars are four and three on the season. This is just a reminder to our listeners that per COVID-19 protocols, we do not have fans in attendance for our home games, with the exception of our game day crew. So we're happy to bring you our home during that time. Let's go through the rosters that we have for the Arkansas State Mid-South women's team. We have number two, Lockett, number three, Milo, number four, Williams, number 10, Larry, number 11, Peek, number 23, Delaney, number 24, Penn, Number 32, Lee. Just a note, Lee is ranked number four nationally in field goal percentage, shooting at a rate of 66.7%. We also have number 33, Campbell, number 34, Cooper, and number 40, Lopez. Here, are your, here are your lineup for your South Ark women stars. So number one, Latrice Wright. She's a guard, 5'4", freshman, hailing from Bearden, Arkansas. Number five, Christian Marshall. She plays forward and center, 5'10", a sophomore from Warren, Arkansas. Number 22, Dynasty Davis. She's a 5'4 guard, a freshman hailing from Strong, Arkansas. Number 23, Shelby Beeland. She's a 5'7 guard, sophomore hailing from Hampton, Arkansas. Number 14, Charity Watkins. Watkins, Watkins plays forward. She's 5'8", a sophomore from Crossett, Arkansas. Number 40, Cassidy Hollinsworth. She's a 5'8 forward, freshman from Hermitage, Arkansas. Number 11, Darby Forte. She's a 5'8 freshman, hailing from Monticello, Arkansas. And rounding out the roster for your South Ark Stars is Madison Hall, number 42. She's a 5'9 forward, sophomore, hailing from Hope, Arkansas. Your head coaches for the ASU Mid-South Lady Greyhounds is Mercedes Corona. She's the head coach and Cody Hastings is the assistant coach. Head coach for your South Ark Lady Stars is Nate Davis. Assistant coach is Mason Lockhart. I want to welcome all of our viewers in for tonight's game. As mentioned, after, the, after our women's game, our men's game will start approximately 20 minutes afterwards. We also want to thank our game day crew who's working with us this afternoon. We certainly appreciate our game day crew. Adrian Lawrence, she's, she's our game day coordinator. Our check-in team, Casey Martin. Security with Chief Verdon. Custodial crew, Nathan Lloyd. Our game day officials attendance, Mr. Dean Inman. Our table crew, which consists of Kimberly Moore, Veronda Tatum, Mariah Hicks. Carter Bryant, and also Ricky is working with us as well. Our photographer, Heath Waldrop. Our videographer and streaming attendants, we're thankful to Gary Hall, he's our EMA program director. Richard Dunlap, he's an EMA grad and alumni of South Arkansas Community College, so we appreciate uh, them as well. We are 55 seconds away from tip-off, just gearing up for the national anthem. While we're counting down to our national anthem, we also want to mention a few of our sponsors this afternoon. We're certainly thankful to First Financial Bank, Medical Centers of South Arkansas, South Arkansas Community College Foundation, among many other contributors to the South Arkansas Foundation Athletic Fund. Will you please rise for tonight's national anthem?
time for your starting lineups for the Arkansas State University. Mid-South Greyhounds. Number four, Milana Williams. Number 10 from The Rock, Kaylin Larry. Number 11 from Springdale, Ashley Pig You. Number 24, from Harker Heights, Texas, Sierra Penn. And from Atoka, Tennessee, that's number 32, Aaliyah Lee. And your coach for the Greyhounds, Mercedes Corona. And now it's time for your home opener for the South Arc Shooting Stars. Number five from Warren, Christian Mitchell. From Crossit, number 14, Charity Watkins. Number 22 from Strong, Dynasty with an I, Davis. Number 23, a proud Hampton Bulldog, Shelby Belen. And number 42 from Hope, Madison Hall. And your coach, Nate Davis. Just about getting ready for tip off, ladies and gentlemen. Let's mention your starters for the Lady Stars. It's Marshall, Davis, Beelan, Watkins, and Hall. Starting for your Lady Greyhounds is Williams, Larry, Peggy, Penn, and Lee. Some of you old timers may remember the MC that goes by the name of Mr. Curtis Blow. Curtis Blow had a hit record back in the days that some say, let's play basketball. Ready for the tip off. <laughs> Opening tip is controlled by the Lady Greyhounds. Lady Greyhounds, shot, shot up, shot good by number three, Pagui. Lady Greyhounds take a three-point lead. Turnover by the Lady Stars, Greyhounds ball. Top of the key. Lady Greyhounds shoots again. Another three, successful three again. That's by Pagui. She's two for two three-pointers. Lady Greyhounds are pressing. Stars do a good job of breaking the press. Dynasty Davis drives, blocked by the Lady Greyhounds. Lady Greyhounds pushing. Finds a wide open person. Number four for the Lady Greyhounds, that's Williams. Lady Greyhounds take an 8-0 lead. Watkins with the ball. Marshall has the ball. Back to Dynasty at the top of the key. Lady Greyhound sets it up. Lady Stars, if you will. Drop to the hall by Davis and foul. foul Shooting foul. Davis at the line for two. Into the game, Darby Fortin. Number 40, Cassie Holland. Number one, Latrice White. Davis is a 75% free throw shooter. She's got two shots awaiting. Misses the first one. She's got one more. Missed both of them. Greyhounds with the ball. Drive to the hole by number four, Williams. Lady Greyhounds take a 10-0 lead. Stars break the press. Watkins with the ball. Passes to Davis. Davis back to Watkins. Forte helms the ball. Lady Stars set it back up. Davis at the top of the key. Pass to Watkins. Watkins shot is blocked. Lady Greyhounds ball. 
underneath the pass to number 32, Lee. Timeouts. Your score, Greyhounds 10. Shooting star zero. Stars take a timeout. Lady Greyhounds lead 10-0 with 7.56 left in the first quarter. That last shot was made successfully by Alea Lee with the Greyhounds. She is ranked number four nationally in field goal percentages, shooting at a clip of 66.7%. Greyhounds are pressing pretty hard for the Stars. The Stars are breaking the press through turnovers. Right, stars back out on the court. Coach Davis has calmed them down a little bit. Maybe they've regrouped and ready to go. Let's see if we can get a couple points on the board. Shooting stars basketball. Lady Stars bring the ball up the court. Davis has the ball. Stars successfully broke the press. Pass to Latrice Wright. Back to Davis. Ball is stolen by the Greyhounds. The Greyhounds are pushing down the court. Up. Score for the Lady Greyhounds. Number 10, Larry. Stars do a good job of breaking the press. Pass out the Forte, shoots for three. Possession goes over to the Lady Greyhounds. Greyhounds bring the ball up the court. Larry's running the point for the Greyhounds. Passes over the pin. Looking for the number one score on the team, 32, Leah Lee. Six, 16 to zero. Stars turn the ball over. Lady Greyhounds basketball. As the Greyhounds bring the ball up the court, Stars look like they're in a one, two, one, two, three zone. Greyhounds top of the key. Shot up, miss. Greyhounds get the offensive rebound. Shot clock's going down. Whew. Offensive foul. It's good, good take, good charge. Good taking the charge. Number five, Christian Marshall. Greyhounds ball. Stars ball. Greyhounds are pressing. Stars do a good job of breaking the press. Patrice Wright with the ball, turnover, Stars. Possession goes back to the Greyhounds. Stars look a little flushed, but they're gonna get their feet on them just a little bit. Still in the zone. Look like they're in a two, three zone. Greyhounds bring the ball up the court. Ball in the hands of Lair. Lair drives to the hole, got fouled in to the line for a potential three-point play. Larry at the line with an opportunity to for a successful three-point play. Ball is up, good. 19-0, Lady Greyhounds. Starts with the ball, being pressed by the Greyhounds. That's Davis with the ball, breaks the press, does a good job. Passes over to Watkins. Watkins at the top of the key. Davis is setting up, calling the play. Over to Forte. Now to Hollinsworth. Hollinsworth with the ball, looking for a hole. Ball is blocked by the Greyhounds. Possession goes over to the Greyhounds. Larry brings the ball up the court. In to number 32. Aaliyah. That's Aaliyah Lee with another successful basket. Greyhounds, Cassidy broke the trap, driving to the hole, passes over to Watkins, back to Forte, now Davis has the ball. Back to Forte, Forte looks for a shot, 
Good defense by the Greyhounds. The Greyhounds bring the ball up the court. Successful basket by the Greyhounds. Kaylin. Larry. Timeout. Successful Greyhounds. jumper from the top of the key. Your score. 5-12 left in the first quarter. Stars, Greyhounds have a lead zero. of 23 to 0. A quick reminder, you can watch nationwide on the South Arc Shooting Stars. Ladies and gentlemen, there's, there's a reason why the ASU Mid-South Lady Greyhounds are Community College ranked are in the community. top 10 nationally. I'm playing good defense tonight. Coach Davis talking it over with his Lady Stars and Getting ready to bring the ball back in. <laughs> Lady Stars bring the ball up the court. Davis running the point for the Lady Stars. Greyhounds aren't pressing now. Davis drives to the hole, looking for open person, finds Marshall. A little bit too hard. Greyhounds have possession. Good defense by the Stars. Williams issues to Larry. Back in the corner. Ball goes down on the inside to the post. Good Stars defense. Greyhound score. It's number 33, Brianna Campbell on the basket. Patrice Wright's bringing the ball up the court for the Lady Stars. Lady Stars looking to get on the scoreboard tonight. Right hand with the ball at the top of the key. Looking for Forte. Forte has the ball. They're looking for Marshall. Steal by the Lady Greyhounds. Lady Greyhounds have the ball down the court. Basket good by Mylenia Williams. Greyhounds. 358 left in the first quarter. Wright brings the ball down the court for the Lady Stars. Calling the play, driving to the hole. That's backcourt back called on the, on the Lady Stars. Ball goes back to the Into Lady Greyhounds. 3.43 left in the first quarter. Watkins. Lady Stars need to cramp, clamp down on defense. Greyhounds bring the ball in. Running the point for the Greyhounds is Larry. Larry dishes. Campbell passes over. Shot up, no good for the Greyhounds. Forte has the ball for the Stars going to the hole and scores. It's Darby Forte for the Lady Stars. Stars on the, stars on the board tonight. Darby Forte. Greyhounds ball. Larry passes over. Campbell has the ball. Stars playing good defense. Back to Larry at the point. Looking to drive, this is over. Shot up, missed by the Greyhounds, up. Blocked by the Stars, good defense by the Stars. Turnover, possession back in the hands of the Greyhounds. Larry does a good job of running the point guard for the Lady Greyhounds. Greyhound still in the possession after a missed shot. Larry passes. Looks like it's going to be a turnover. All right, here we go. Possession goes Shooting to the Lady Stars. stars. Basketball into the game. Number Shooting Stars may have found some momentum. Scoring the first basket of the night. All right. Davis brings the ball up the court for the Lady Stars. Passes over to Hall. Watkins has the ball, looks like she's gonna drive to the hole. And she scores. Okay. Good drive, good basket made by Christian Marshall, number five. Greyhounds basketball, top of the key, Delaney. Delaney passes over to Campbell. Campbell dishes down to Pegui. Good defense by Christian Marshall on Pegui. Charity Watkins for the Stars is clamping down. Good defense. Looks like there may be a turnover. Greyhounds basketball. Stars, good defense by the Stars. Pass Latrice Rice has the fast break all by herself. It's Dynasty Davis on the basket for the Lady Dynasty. Stars. Lady Stars on the board this, this evening. 
Their score at 125 left in the first quarter, 27 to six. Lady Greyhounds over the Stars. Lady Greyhounds shoot, miss. And they just got fouled on the shot. Looks like going to the line for the Lady Greyhounds, number two, Lockett. An opportunity to make it a three point play. Looked like the Stars were gonna grab that rebound, but Lockett slipped in, grabbed the rebound, and took the shot back up, got fouled, and opportunity to make it a three point play. Free throw up, no good. Rebound by Hall for the Stars. All right, Davis has the ball for the Stars, coming down the court, looking to call the play. Passes over to Watkins. Watkins takes the ball through the hole, shoots, and it's good, up and good. Charity Watkins for the Lady Stars. Cross it, Arkansas. Greyhounds with the ball. Pass on the inside. Shot up, no good. Looks like a late whistle by the refs, but nevertheless, it is a whistle. Foul number five, Christian Marshall. Milo goes to, to the, the line, line for the Lady Greyhounds. Tasha. She's shooting two. First shot up and good. One shot left. Free throws up by Milo. And it's good as well. Lady Greyhounds 31, your South Oak Stars 8. Dynasty Davis running the point for the Stars, brings the ball up the court. Looks like there's a shot clock error. Refs are resetting the shot clock. All right. Looks like we're going to get the shot clock back working like where the refs say the time should be. Looks like they're 27 seconds on the shot clock. Twenty-seven seconds on the shot clock, forty-five seconds on the game clock for the first quarter. Christian Marshall is looking to bring the ball in for the Lady Stars. Passes over down to see Davis. Davis drives to the hole. Passes to Forte. Forte passes. Ball stolen by the Greyhounds. Greyhounds basketball. Delaney pushes the ball up the court. Almost a steal by Dynasty Davis. Greyhounds shoot up. Shot is off. Rebound by Charity Watkins. Stars basketball. Watkins looking to drive. Takes it back out to the point. Ball in the hands of Dynasty Davis. Looks like she's calling on a play for the Stars. Davis drives, she's looking for pass, taking it through the hole, got fouled on the shot. She's at the line for two. Good drive by Dynasty Davis. Foul number 33, Campbell. To the line, shooting two, Dynasty Davis. And Davis shoots free throws at a 75% clip. Good on the first shot. She's got one more left. Second shot up, it's good as well. Stars on the board again with 10 points, first quarter. Possession back to the Greyhounds. That is it for your first quarter. After one, your score. Greyhounds 31, shooting stars 10. Lady Greyhounds from ASU Mid-South off to a very hot start. Finished the quarter with 31 points. On the season, when you look at the Lady Greyhounds, as it's mentioned, uh, they are ranked in the top 10 nationally. Uh, they actually average 69 points a game. First quarter, they've hit 31 points. As Coach Davis is talking it over with his Lady Stars, I'm sure he'll talk more about defense and turnovers. Just a few stats for our, our Lady Stars. They come in averaging 58.5 points per game, shooting at a clip of 31.5% field goals. Three-point attempts, a percentage 29%. Free throw percentage as a team, 
close to 70 percent 69.2 36 rebounds per game as mentioned this is the stars home opener here lady stars in our w wpa gymnasium first regional game as well All right, getting ready to start the second quarter here. El Dorado, Arkansas. Your South Arc Lady Stars versus ASU Mid-South Lady Greyhounds. Forte throws the ball into Davis. Davis at the top of the key looking to call the play. Passes over the hall back to Watkins. Watkins with the ball looking for Marshall. Marshall looks to drive to the hole, looks back to Hall, pass back to Forte, Forte drives to the hole, and mm, looks like that could have been a close call, either a charge or, or a blocking foul. Refs call it a charge on Darby Forte. Possession goes over to ASU Mid-South Lady Greyhounds. Delaney brings the ball up the court for the Lady Greyhounds. Passes into the paint. Back out to the top of the key. Delaney has the ball at the top of the key. Driving to the hole. Up, shot up, shot is good. That's number 23, Delaney, on the three point shot for the Lady Greyhounds. Stars basketball. Davis with the ball at the top of the key. Driving toward the hole, looking for someone. Passes over to Marshall. Marshall at the top of the key for the Lady Stars. Looking at the shot clock. About 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Passes over to Forte. Back to Marshall. Marshall drives to the hole. Shot up. Shot no good. Rebound by the Lady Greyhounds. Lady Greyhounds pushing up the court. Good defense by Watkins for the Greyhounds. Forte has the ball. Possession goes back to the Lady Stars. Top of the key, Davis sets it up for the Lady Stars. Finds Hall on the wing. Back to Davis. Davis drives to the hole. Looks like she's gonna shoot it, she does. Shot no good for the Stars. Rebound, Lady Greyhounds. Lady Greyhounds pushed up the court. Basket is good by Campbell for the Lady Greyhounds. Ball back in the hands of the Lady Stars. Dynasty running the point guard for the Stars. Passes over to Marshall. Marshall passes. Looks like a turnover for the Lady Stars. Greyhounds back down to the court for layup, uncontested. Lady Stars with the ball. Darby Forte brings the ball up the court. Passes over to Davis. Davis thought about it. Passes over to Marshall. Marshall three-pointer up, looks good. Comes off the rim, back in the hands of Davis. Davis goes up. Looks like some good defense from the Lady Greyhounds. Lady Greyhounds basketball. Passes. Good defense by the Lady Stars. Lady Stars have four on one. Davis is up and makes the shot. Good basket. Dynasty Davis. Stars still in a zone defense. Greyhounds basketball. Delaney running the point, takes the shot up and buries the three-pointer. Three-point shot, good by Delaney. Lady Stars with basketball. Davis does a good job of running point guard for the Stars. It's her ball. Over to Watkins, over to Marshall. Turnover by Marshall. Into the, game. Into the game for Cassie the Lady Hollins. Stars. Hollingsworth number Latrice 40, Latrice Wright, Wright number one, Shelby, Shelby Beeland number 23. Beeland. Greyhounds basketball. Camel throws in. Delaney. Delaney does a great job of point, running point guard for the Lady Greyhounds. Passes over to number two, Lockett. Lockett with the basketball. Lockett passes to Milo. Back to Lockett. This is the ball in the paint. Oh, good block, good defense. Good block by Christian Marshall. Marshall has the ball over to Beeling. Beeling with the ball at the top of the key. 
for the Lady Star. She looks for Latrice Wright. Latrice Wright ball, passes over to Marshall. Marshall looks like she's gonna drive to the hole, drive to the hole, blocked by the Lady Greyhounds. That's Lockett, Lockett on the push for the Lady Greyhound, passes the ball, Lady Greyhounds up, shot and is good by the Lady Greyhounds, number 34, Cooper. Cooper new into the game for the Lady Greyhounds. Hollingsworth, Hollingsworth at the top of the key for your Lady Stars. Passes over to Marshall. Marshall looks for an opening. Passes back to Beelan. Beelan with the ball on the wing. Finds Forte at the top of the key. Forte looks like she's going to shoot us up. Banked the in. Is open. Darby Forte for a three pointer. Forte. Your Lady Stars. 5.32 left in the second quarter. Delaney at the top of the key. Passes, passes back to Delaney. Give and go. Shot no good. Stars basketball. Shelby Beeling at the top of the key for the Lady Stars. Hollinsworth with the ball. Turnover. Looks like the Greyhounds has it. Ball's out of bounds. Greyhounds basketball. Lady Greyhounds pushing up, pushing the ball up to the front court. Your shot is up. Off the mark. South Park Stars basketball. Hollingsworth. The basketball for the Lady Stars. Back to Forte. Forte on the wing. Passes to Hollingsworth. Back to Forte. It's like a turnover. Well, the ball's going to stay with the Lady Stars. Coming into the game for the Stars, number 42, Madison Hall, giving Christian Marshall a We're still working. Refs have been a very, very patient with our table crew and working with our shot clock. 17 seconds on the shot clock. Stars basketball. Forte brings it in. Looking for someone. Finds Beelan. Beelan at the top of the key. Passes the ball off the hall. Hall drives. Good drive. Shot is up. Shot is just a little off the mark. Greyhounds basketball. Delaney calms everything down for the Lady Greyhounds. Top of the key, Gray Laney has it, passes over, good block. Just like a turnover. Greyhounds remain control of the ball. About 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Down low in the paint to Lopez. Lopez shoots, shot is good. Lopez comes in and makes an impact right off the bat. Stars basketball, Latrice Wright, bringing the ball up the court for the Greyhound. Top of the key. Forte has the ball. Hollingsworth driving. Hollingsworth with the ball. Looks like she's going to take it up. Woo! And she got fouled. She's at the line for two. Cassie Hollingsworth. To the line shooting two. Cassie Hollingsworth. Hollingsworth is a 50% free throw shooter. If the Stars ever needed both of them, they need it now. First shot is up, looks good. Has one more shot remaining. Second shot up by Hollingsworth, up. Shot's a little bit off the mark, in and out. Ball comes back to the hands of the Greyhounds. Delaney controlling the point guard, the top of the key. Greyhounds basketball, dish to the side, shot up by the Greyhounds, off the mark, rebound the South Arc Stars. Hollingsworth brings the ball up the court for your Lady Stars. Looking for someone, Darby Forte is open, shot, three point shot is up, off the mark. Lady Greyhounds with the ball, drive up, shot is good, Lady Greyhounds. Kiana Delaney. Hollingsworth with the ball for the Lady Stars. Shot is up. Off the mark just a little bit. Delaney back in control of the point guard for your Lady Greyhounds. Ball in the paint. Shot is up by the Greyhounds. Miss. Hollingsworth controls the ball. Rebound for your Lady Stars. Top of the key. Ball over the hall. Latrice Wright has the ball. Wright still with the ball. Lady Greyhounds are playing man to man. Good pressure defense by the Lady Greyhounds. Turnover, ball in hands of Lady Greyhounds. Back down the court, shot is up, off the mark. 
Still Lady Greyhounds ball. Looked like that could have been an offensive charge, but it was not called. Shot is up good by the Lady Greyhounds. All right. Patrice Wright with the ball for your Lady Stars. Passes over to Darby Forte. Forte finds Wright in the middle of the paint. Woo! Shooting Stars. Basketball. Possession remains South Arc Shooting Stars. Into the game. Number 34, Hayden Cooper. Number 14, 14 Terry Watkins. Watkins back in the game for your Lady Stars. Hollisworth takes the ball out for your Lady Stars. Find Watkins in the corner. Pass over to Latrice Wright. Latrice Wright's back to Watkins. Watkins drives. He's driving to the hole. Looks like she wants to shoot. This is to Madison Hall. Finds Beeland in the paint. Beeland up. Shot is off the mark somewhat. Ball back in the hands of your Lady Greyhounds. Back in the hands of the very capable point guard, Delaney. Star still in the zone. Looks like a 2-3 zone. Delaney has the ball. Passes to Lopez. Deflected out of bounds by Latrice Wright. Possession remains Lady Greyhounds. Lady Greyhounds ball. In the paint, Delaney up. Shot is good by Delaney. Not only can she run the point, ladies and gentlemen, she can drive to the hole as well. Stars basketball. Hollinsworth brings the ball down the court for your Lady Stars. Hollinsworth passes the ball over to Beelan. Beelan back to Hall. Hall back to Hollingsworth. Got seven seconds left on the shot clock. Hollingsworth has the ball. Looks like she's going to drive. Passes over to Latrice Wright. Shot is up. Looks good. Latrice, Latrice Wright for two right. on the left wing. Lady Greyhounds basketball. Delaney at the top of the key. Star still in the 2-3 zone. Good deflection. Ball deflected out by the South Arc Stars. Greyhounds basketball. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Ball in the hands of Delaney. Looks like she wants to drive to the hole. She drives, but it is a block. Looked like a clean block, but the rest, I believe, said he got a little to the body. Delaney's going to be at the line for two. Foul number 42, Hall to the line, shooting two, Delaney. Delaney at the line for two. First shot up, a little too hard. Delaney has one more. Shot is up and it is good. 33 seconds left in the first half. Ball in for the Lady Stars. Hollingsworth brings the ball up the court. Play. Play is stopped by the refs. Resetting the game clock to 25 seconds. Lady Stars basketball. I'm sure Coach Davis would love if the team would get a point right before the half. Ball in the hands of Watkins. Watkins at the top of the key, deflected. Back into the hands of your Lady Greyhounds. Up oh, and the shot is good. Lock it. Lock it scores for the Lady Greyhounds. Stars basketball, Beeland with the ball. Looks like she wants to drive. This is ball back to Wright. Wright takes the ball into the paint. Looks like she's going to shoot it. Up, oh, no good. Three seconds left. The Stars bas Greyhounds basketball. Shot is up by the Greyhounds. No good. Your score at the half. Greyhounds 53. Shooting Stars 18. At the end of the first half, Lady Greyhounds, Lady Stars, our score is 53 to 18. Lady Greyhounds with 53, your Lady Stars at 18. As noted earlier, we, we can cer we certainly see your Arkansas State University Miss South Lady Greyhounds came, came in ranked in the top 10 nationwide in Region 2 of NJCAA, and we see a, a good display of that. Coach Davis, Lady Stars, are continuing to fight. 
and we will take a break at this half. And before we take this break, a couple things we want to mention uh, for those students who may be listening. Scholarship deadline is March the 8th. It was previously March 1, but scholarship deadline has been moved to March 8th. Also, students, we want you to be aware of priority registration for summer and fall is coming soon. Within the next couple weeks, be sure to check your email and our website for priority registration. And for you, some of you students who intend to graduate this spring, graduation applications should be submitted ASAP. Graduation applications should be submitted ASAP. And to those who would like to contribute to our athletics funds, you can go to our website at www.southark.edu. You'll see a giving button at the top of, that, of our website, a giving button. Then you click on that button, then you'll see giving opportunities. Once you click in the giving opportunities, you'll see athletic funds. So if you have an opportunity, if you'd like to contribute to the South Arkansas Community College Athletic Fund, you can do so by going to our website. At this, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back live in just a little while. Thank you.
Alrighty, we're back at El Dorado for the beginning of our second half. A few stats as we move into the second half. Lady Greyhounds uh, leading score uh, for your Lady Greyhounds is Delaney with 13. Leading score for your South Oak Stars is Davis with 6. Possession belongs to the Lady Greyhounds. Your halftime score, Lady Greyhounds 54, Lady Stars 18. Balls in possession. Lady Greyhounds basketball. Larry's running point guard for the Greyhounds. Just into the paint, back out to the top of the key. Shot up, no good. Ball looks like it's going out. Shooting stars. Possession turns to your Lady Stars. Just like the Greyhound's going to come out pressing. Beeling in. Wright has the ball. Bringing the ball up the court. Looking to break the press. Passes over to Forte. Forte brings the ball in. Breaks the, breaks the press. Beeling has the ball. Beeling driving to the hole. Looking for a shot. Oh, shot no good. Rebounded by the Lady Greyhounds. Lady Greyhounds basketball. Ball in the hands of Penn. Penn takes the ball to the hole. Good left-handed shot. Pin to the line with an opportunity one. for a three-point play. Number 24, Sierra Pin. Pin at the line for one for the Lady Greyhounds. Shot is up. Shot is good. Stars basketball. Beelan bringing the ball in. Looking for someone. Pass it over to Marshall. Marshall's driven the ball up the court. Looks like she's got trapped. Stars basketball. Ball deflected out by the Greyhound. Stars basketball. Bring, Beelan bringing the ball in for the Stars. Looking for Wright. Or someone to bring it into. Wright has the ball for the Stars. Looks like the Lady Greyhounds and man to man. Defense. Ball is up. Stolen by the Greyhounds. That's pin in. Lay up uncontested by the Greyhounds. Marshall with the ball for the Stars. Finds Beeline. Ball tipped out. Shoot. Deflected stars out. Basketball. By the Greyhounds. Stars basketball. That was Lee who tipped that ball out for the Greyhounds. Beeline bringing the ball in. Finds Hollingsworth. Back over to Forte. Forte shot up. 
Shot off. Marshall with the rebound. Goes back up. Shot is good. Christian Marshall for the Lady Stars. Marshall. Greyhounds with the ball. Ball dishing to the paint. Looking for a play. That looks like it was a set play there by the Greyhounds. Shot is up. Shot is good. Right with the ball. Beelan passes over the right, passes to Forte. Good job, Lady Stars, of breaking the press. Ah, turnover, errant pass by the Stars. Greyhounds basketball. Stars can't afford errant passes with a team such as this. In the corner for the Greyhounds. Shot is up, and the shot is good. Williams, successful three point shot. Stars basketball. Forte bringing the ball up the court, passes to Beelan. Beelan gains back possession, passes over to Hall. Hall shoots. Looks like there's going to be a foul on the Lady Greyhounds. Looks like Hall is going to be at the line for two. Foul number 11, Ashley. Madison Hall is a 69% free throw shooter. Charity. She's at the line for two. Latrice. In for the Stars. To the line Charity Watkins. Latrice Wright. First shot up by Hall. Shot is up. Shot is good. Hall has one remaining. Shot is up. Shot is off the mark. Rebound Lady Greyhound. Lady Greyhound is looking to push. They're looking to push. Ball in. Shot is up. No good. Rebounded by Charity Watkins. Stars basketball. Dynasty Davis at the point. Just like Greyhounds are trying to press. Over to Marshall. Marshall passes back to right. Wright has the ball at the top of the key for the Stars, looking to drive. Ball in Watkins hands, passes over to Latrice Wright. Good defense by the Lady Greyhounds. Greyhounds basketball, and they're pushing. Number 11 for the Greyhounds, shot is up. Shot is off the mark. Rebound, offensive rebound by the Greyhounds. Greyhounds basketball, plenty of time left on the shot clock, but they shoot early. Shot is up, missed. Offensive rebound by the Lady Greyhounds. Shot is good. Sierra Penn. For the Lady Greyhounds. 66 21, Lady Greyhounds. Wright has the ball for the Stars. Shot is up. Deflected, Greyhounds basketball. They're looking to push. Pushing down, Greyhounds up, and it looks like a Behind the back. basket is good by Penn. Penn has come out in the second half, and six points in the second yeah, half. Penn. Stars basketball. Latrice Wright has it on the wing. Shot is up. Shot is blocked. Madison Hall rebounds, takes the shot up. It's blocked as well. Pass back out to Wright. Wright has the basketball for the Stars. All right, Dynasty Davis running the point for the Stars, slowing it down, setting it up. Looks like she's going to call a set play for the Stars. Wright has the ball. Three seconds left on the shot clock. Shot is up. Shot is blocked. Shot clock violation. Into the game, number 40, Cassidy Hollingsworth. For number 42, Madison Hall. Possession turns over to the Lady Greyhounds. Lady Greyhounds ball. Again, running, running point for the Lady Greyhounds. They, they made a change from the first half. Larry's running point for the Greyhounds this half. Passes the ball over, back in the paint, back in the hole. Good defense, good defense by Hollingsworth. Ball over to Marshall, looks for right. Marshall goes all the way up. She draws the foul. Christian Marshall will be at the line for foul the Lady Stars. She has two shots coming. To the line, shooting two. Christian Marshall. Marshall is shooting at a clip from the free throw line of 57%. She has two shots coming. First shot by Marshall's up, and it's good. <laughs> Marshall has one remaining at the stripes. Shot is up by Marshall. And it's good as well. Marshall capitalizes on the free baskets. 68-23, Lady Greyhounds. Lady Greyhounds basketball. Passes into the paint, shot is up. Shot is no good. It's like offensive rebound by the Lady Greyhounds. Shot on the wing by the Greyhounds. Off the mark, good rebound by the Stars. Lady Greyhounds gain back possession. That shot is up and it's good. By number 32 for the Lady Greyhounds, Aaliyah Lee. 
Stars basketball. Forte. Wow. 10 second, ten second violation call. Looked like a quick 10 second Into violation, but nevertheless, it's a violation. It. Turnover Lady. goes to the Lady Tasha. Greyhounds. Brianna. Lady Greyhounds bring Delaney back in the ball game. She's running point guard for the Greyhounds. She does a great job of running point guard. The Stars have switched up and going man to man. They were zone defense first half. They're going man to man. Good move. We'll see by Coach Davis. The Stars are still in man to man defense. Good defense. Shot clock is running down. Patrice Rice is pressuring the ball. Good defense by the Stars. Hmm. Got a foul call on the Lady Stars. Right. Good defense by the Lady Stars. I think Coach Davis may have found something with the Lady Stars going man to man, second half. At the line for the Greyhounds. Delaney. Shot is up, shot is off. Delaney's ahead, one more shot at the line. Shot is up by Delaney. And it's off the mark as well. Stars rebound. Hollinsworth with the ball. Passes over to Watkins. Marshall has the ball now for the Stars. Finds right in the corner. Deflected out of bounds by the Lady Greyhounds. Stars basketball. Stars basketball. Did a great job of breaking the press then to the Lady Stars. Forte brings the ball in for the Stars. Looking for an open person. Ball goes out to Marshall. Marshall brings the ball to the top of the key for the Stars. Looks like she wants to find a shot. Wright has the ball back to Marshall. Marshall goes up. Ball deflected back out. Forte has the ball. Ball in the hand of Hollingsworth for the Stars. Back to Forte. Four seconds left on the shot. Watkins has the ball. Got a second to shoot. Foul. Good job by the Lady Stars. Watkins at the line for two for the Lady Stars. Foul number 34, Cooper. Don't want to jinx Charity Watkins, but she Watkins. shoots free throws at a clip of 100%. So she's at the line for two for the Lady Stars. And I just did. First shot is off the mark. Watkins has one, shot, one more shot remaining. Shot is up, and it's good. Nothing but net. Greyhounds basketball. Delaney running the point guard. Patrice Wright is waiting on it. Man-to-man -man defense. Good block, good deflection. Greyhounds retain the ball. Good defense by the Stars. Yes, good defense by the Stars. That man-to-man -man defense is working good for the Lady Stars. The second half as the Greyhounds are turned over. Hollingsworth with the ball in for the Stars. Passes over to Watkins. Watkins has the ball. Pulls it back in. Good decision. Four Greyhounds are in the paint waiting on it. Ball back out to Forte. Drives to the hole, shot is up, and got fouled. Forte will be at the line for the Stars, shooting two. Foul number 33, Campbell. Forte is shooting free throws at a clip of 63%. She's at the line for two. First shot is up, and it's good. Forte has one remaining shot at the stripes. Shot by Forte is up. Off the mark. Stars goes in for a rebound. Looked like it could have went anyway, but it goes to the Greyhounds. Greyhounds possession. Delaney with the ball. Bring the ball up court for the Lady Greyhounds. Lady Greyhounds sitting at 70 points. Lady Stars at 20 points. Good defense by the Lady Stars. Forte has the ball. She's pushing up the court. She looks like she's going to drive and shoot it. Ball's off. Rebound by the Greyhounds. Pushing up the court, Greyhounds deflected out. Ball still in play. Possession remains with the Greyhounds. Good block by Charity Watkins for the Greyhounds. Good lefty block. Charity Watkins. Lady Greyhounds basketball. 20 seconds left on the shot clock. It should be a little lower than that. Refs are checking with the table crew. I'm sure the Stars wouldn't. Want as much time left on the shot clock as it is. 
14 seconds on the shot clock. Greyhounds basketball. Greyhounds looking to bring the ball in. Good defense by the Lady Stars. Good defense. They get it in. Shot is up by the Greyhounds. Off the mark. Good rebound. Watkins for the Stars. She's pushing it up the court. Hollingsworth with the ball for the Lady Stars. She's at the top of the key. Passes over to Watkins. Watkins has the ball. Has a lane clear. Shot is up. Off the mark. Rebound by the Lady Greyhounds. She's pushing it up the court. Passes up. Shot is no good. good. Good rebound by the Lady Stars. Passes over to Watkins. Watkins has the ball. She's taking it in. Step over. Shot no good. Good move nevertheless. Greyhounds basketball. It's like a real good showing. Better second half for the Lady Stars. They come out in man-to-man -man defense and Greyhounds basketball. Stars putting pressure. Top of the key. Pass over. Shot is off. Offensive rebound. By the Lady Greyhounds, I'm sure Coach Davis is going to stress that to his team in the coming weeks. Watkins with the ball. Shot is up, no good. Four Greyhounds underneath the paint. Good defense by Latrice Wright. Lady Greyhounds basketball. Cool, calm, and collective. Delaney at the point guard for the Greyhounds. Pass the ball over to Luckett. Lockett. Lockett passes back. On the wing, shot up by the Greyhounds. Shot is missed, rebound, Charity Watkins. Ball in the hands of Latrice Wright, number one for your Lady Stars. She calmly brings the ball up the court, top of the key. Passes the ball to Hollingsworth. Ball over to Forte, finds Marshall in the paint. Shot is up, and it's good. Marshall Looks like it could have been an end one, but we'll take the two. Ball back in the hands of the Lady Greyhounds. Time out, Lady Time out, Greyhounds. Greyhounds. Again, the Southbound Stars come out in the second half the playing man-to-man -man defense, Your putting a little bit more pressure on the basketball. 72. Shooting stars, 27. Offensive rebounds, something that the Lady Stars are going to have to continue to work on. Good defense in this second half. I mentioned a few stats, halftime stats earlier. Again, for your South Rock Stars, Treese Wright, two points. Marshall two, Davis six, Beeland two, Forte five, and Cassidy Hollingsworth with one. All right, one minute and 48 seconds left in the third quarter. The score, ASU Mid-South, Lady Greyhound 72. The South Dark shooting Lady Stars 27. Possession is with your Lady Greyhounds. Delaney with the ball. Star still in man-to-man -man defense. Putting pressure on the ball is Forte. Find the open man. Re good rebound, South Dark Stars, Dynasty Davis. And she's gonna bring the ball up the court. She passes over to Forte. Had a man wide open in the corner, didn't find it. Treese right with the ball, passes back to Forte. Ball back to Dynasty Davis. Davis with the ball. Still got about 13 seconds left in the shot clock. Beeling with the ball. Looking for Latrice right in the hole. Shots up. No good. Rebound by the Lady Greyhounds. They're looking to push. They're taking the ball down the court. And the shot is up. No good. Offensive rebound. Good defense by the Lady Stars. Good defense. Latrice right with the ball for the Lady Stars. Back in the hands of Dynasty Davis as she calmed things down a little bit for the Lady Stars. Calling a set play. Ball back now in the hands of Latrice Wright. She's looking for somebody to move. Ball in the hands of Shelby Beelan. Passes over to Forte. Forte's an excellent three-point shooter. Hadn't had many shot opportunities to get the shot up this afternoon. Ball in the hands of Madison Hall. Back to Davis. Davis drives to the hole. Up oh, shot. No good. Good hustle. She battles for her own rebound. Jump ball, Jump ball, says the refs. Looks like the possession should remain with Shooting your Lady Stars. stars. Basketball. That's good hustle by Dynasty Davis. Stars basketball. New shot clock. Forte bring the ball in. Passes back to Davis. Back to Marshall at the top of the key. Christian Marshall's driving the ball in the hole. Mm, slipped and fell. Ball in the hand of Lady Greyhounds. Looks like Coach may have to call a timeout. 
Marshall looks like she may have tweaked something when she fell just a moment ago. We're going to have the trainers take a look at, at Marshall. Hopefully everything will be okay. It may just be a cramp, we hope. Sounds like it may have been an ankle. Again, while the trainers and coaches are taking a look at Marshall, in the third quarter. South Arkansas Community College Lady Stars 27. As mentioned, Coach Davis had a good talk with his players at halftime. They came out in the second half playing man to man defense. It's proven worth, worthwhile for the Stars. Round of applause for Christian Marshall. As Marshall is off to the side getting some aid with her ankle. Shooting stars, basketball. Madison Hall replaces Christian Marshall. Stars basketball. Lady Greyhounds are pressing. Forte brings it in. All right, Forte with the ball. Back to Davis. Mm. Pass a little bit, a little bit too high for Madison Hall. Stars got a little excited, did a good job of breaking the press. Turn the ball over. Ball back in the hands of ASU Mid-South Lady Greyhounds. Driving to the hole. Ball is up. Shot Delaney. is good by Delaney. Delaney led the Lady Greyhounds first half with 13 points, and she's added at least six Your points in this score, third quarter. Heading into the fourth quarter, Arkansas State University Mid-South Greyhounds, 76. South Dark Shooting Stars, 27. Don't forget, coming up right after this game, the mid play, South Dark Shooting Stars versus the top 10 ranked Arkansas State University, Mid South Greyhounds. Okay, prior to fourth quarter, just a few things we want to mention for any students who are listening uh, to the live cast this evening. Scholarship deadline is March the 8th. That's March the 8th. It was March 1, but it has been moved to March the 8th for scholarship deadline. Party registration. Uh, keep watching your email on the website. Party registration for summer and fall is coming soon. And for those students who intend to graduate this spring, graduation applications are due now. We need those graduation applications in. Check your email. Also, if you'd like to give to our athletic fund, those who may be listening live stream, go to our website. That's www.southark.edu. There's a giving button at the top, a giving button. Click on that button, then you'll see giving opportunities, and you'll see athletic fund there. If you'd like to contribute to the South Arkansas Community College Athletic Fund. All right, getting ready to begin the fourth quarter. Again, Lady Greyhound 76, Lady Stars 27. Possession ball. Possession error goes to the Lady Greyhounds. Delaney running point guard for Lady, Lady Greyhounds. Ball at the top of the key. Ball in the hands of Lockett. Passes back now to Delaney. Delaney has the ball. Stars still in the man-to-man -man defense. Ball in the paint. Looks like the Greyhounds run a set play. Good defense by the Lady Stars. Offensive rebound by the Lady Greyhounds. Foul number 42, Madison Hall. Again, that's something that uh, South Park Stars are continuing to have to work on. We look at the Lady Greyhounds. Lady Greyhounds come in averaging 43 rebounds per game. And by judging from the number of offensive rebounds that they have, I can see where they get that average from. First free throw shot is up and good by Cooper. Cooper has another shot remaining at the line for the Lady Greyhounds. Second shot is up, and it's off the mark. Re rebound your Lady Stars. I'll tell you what, those Lady Greyhounds are right there looking for that rebound. Stars did a good job of grabbing the rebound, trying to break the press now, and they Foul did. Foul on number 23, Delaney. Stars did a good job of breaking the press. Your South Arc Stars basketball. Forte finds Beelan. Beelan has the ball for your Lady Stars. Looking for some room. Still dribbling out. Back to Latrice Wright. Latrice Wright shoots. Shot is up. Off the mark. Rebound. Lady Greyhounds. And they're looking to push. They're still looking to push. 
Lady Greyhounds. That's locking. Up shot off the mark. Rebound. That's another offensive rebound by your ASU Mid-South Lady Greyhounds. At the line for the Greyhounds, Brianna Campbell. To the line, shooting two, Campbell. Madison Hall is going to have to be careful. She's got three fouls. Coming in, Hollingsworth and Watkins for your Lady Stars. Giving Beelan and Wright a rest. Camel at the line for the Lady Greyhounds. First shot is up, and it's good. The bank was open. She banked in the free throw. Camel has one remaining. Second shot up by Campbell. And it banked out of there. Rebound, good rebound by Hollingsworth. Dynasty Davis breaks the press all by herself. Finds Watkins in the hole. Forte for three. Mm. The bank is open there as well. Darby Forte with a three-point bucket for your Lady Stars. Greyhounds basketball, top of the key. Smooth Delaney is running the point guard. Finds number 34, Cooper. Two-point basket by Lady Greyhounds. Stars basketball, looking to break the press. That's Dynasty Davis. She can handle the rock. Passes over to Watkins, broke the press good. Watkins goes in. Madison Hall with the ball. Looks like she's going to take that, and she does. Two-point basket is up and good by Madison Hall. Hope Arkansas native. All right, Lady Greyhounds basketball. Delaney running the point guard. Delaney's barking out calls to the team. Plays, passes the ball over. Milo, ball back over to Lockett. Lockett passes the ball back in. Back to Delaney. Shot clock with five seconds left. Shot is up, the shot is off the mark. Rebound, good rebound by your Lady Stars. Good defense, man-to-man -man defense. Forte with the ball for the Lady Stars. Passes to Watkins. Watkins going to drive to the hole. She takes it up. Cross it, Arkansas. Good shot, Charity, Charity Watkins. Watkins. Your Lady Stars, I'll tell you what, they still have some fight in them. Lady Greyhounds basketball. Back to the top of the key, passing into the paint. Good defense by your Lady Stars. Deflected out. Into the game. It's going to be Lady Greyhounds basketball. 18 seconds left on the shot clock. Shot is up. Shot is off the mark. Offensive rebound. Good defense, Lady Stars. Dynasty Davis has the ball. Steals the ball. She's going to take it all the way. She decides to pull it back out. Hollingsworth has the ball for your Lady Stars. Davis is calling out players for your Lady Stars. Coming off a of stream. Forte has it. She's going to shoot that. And ball, it looks good. Forte. Another three-pointer by Forte. Forte is heating up. Two consecutive three-pointers by Darby Forte. Score. South Park 80. Greyhounds 37. This latest surge by South Arkansas Community College Lady Stars has really touched the nerve on the coach of the Lady Greyhounds. She's really letting the Lady Greyhound players, she's giving them the earful. Six fifty-six left in the fourth quarter. As you miss out, Lady Greyhounds eighty, South Arkansas Community College Lady Stars thirty-seven. As I said earlier, your Lady Stars are continuing to fight. I want to give a shout out now to some of my good friends who are listening in from uh, West Memphis, ASU Mid-South, Jeremy Reese, Lindsey Stevens, quite a few of my other former colleagues as I used to work at ASU Mid-South for almost three years. Good defense by your Lady Stars. Ball in the hands of Watkins for your Lady Stars. She's going to drive and she's going to shoot. She got fouled. She's at the line. Good drive by Charity Watkins. Charity Watkins is at the Lopez. line for two shots. To the line, shooting two. Charity Watkins. Charity Watkins at the line for two. First shot is up, and it's good. She's got one more remaining. Shot 
Sider's up. Sider's good. Two for two at the line on that trip by Charity Watkins. All right, Greyhounds basketball. Let's see if they're a little bit more fired up. Greyhound shoots, side is off the mark. Offensive rebound by the Lady Ground. Greyhound, that has been a reoccurring theme for tonight. Three point shot by Milo. Good for the Lady Greyhounds. Maybe that calmed down the coach just a little bit. Dynasty Davis driving to the hole for a lady start. She's going to shoot it. And one. Didn't call the foul, but we'll take the two points. Lady Greyhounds basketball. The lady passes over. Ball dishes in. Turnover by the ball back in the hands of your Lady Greyhounds. Lady Stars have moved back into the zone. Ball back at the top of the key. About eight seconds left on the shot clock. Miss Reliable, Miss Reliable, Delaney for your Lady Greyhounds. Shooting Stars Basketball. Stars Basketball. Five twenty-seven left in your fourth quarter. Lady Greyhound, Lady Stars Basketball. Dynasty Davis walks the ball up the court for the Lady Stars, calling out the plays. Davis drives, finds Hollingsworth in the corner. That looks good from here, and she makes it. Three-point shot, nothing but the bottom of the net by Hollingsworth. Hollingsworth is ranked number seven in the nation in, in field goal percentage. Number five in region two, number five in three-point field goal percentage as well. When she's open, she's going to shoot it. Chances are she's going to make it. That's Hollingsworth. Stars basketball. Forte looking to bring the ball in. Passes the ball to Dynasty Davis. Davis sizes it up. She shoots. It's the bottom of the net. Three-pointer by Dynasty Davis. From Strong, Arkansas. Count it. An opportunity for a three-point play by Lopez in the paint. For the ASU Mid-South Lady Greyhounds. Lopez is at the line with the opportunity to complete a three-point play. Shot is up. Shot is good. Just as a reminder, fans to know we're so proud of our, La our South Park Lady Stars. This is our first year of play in NJCAA Region 2. So proud of our young women. Davis brings the ball down the court for the Stars, calling out plays, looking for a screen. Davis is going to drive. She finds Forte. Forte has the ball. She's going through the hole. Oh, that was uh, and one should have been, but we'll take the two again. Lady Greyhounds basketball. Lady Greyhounds basketball. Pass into Lopez. Shot is up. Shot is missed. Offensive rebounds. Three consecutive offensive rebounds by the Lady Greyhounds. I know for sure that Coach Davis will talk about that with his team. Lopez is at the line for two. Lopez is shooting free throws at a 100% clip. She's at the line for two for the Lady Greyhounds. First shot is up. It's off the mark at the front of the rim. She has one remaining. Second shot up by Lopez. Up oh, and it's good. Stars basketball. Hollingsworth over to Davis. Davis bringing the ball down the court for the Lady Stars. If she finds a lane, she's going to drive to the hole. She gets a screen, she's going to drive him. There it is, I tell you, ladies and gentlemen. It's up, and she's at the line for two. That's Dynasty Davis, all the way from Strong, Arkansas. She's at the line for two. It's missing earlier. Davis shoots free throws at a 75% clip. Stars need both of these. First shot up, off the mark. 
There's one shot remaining. Shot two's up. Looks good. Davis went one for two at the line. Greyhounds basketball. 351 remaining in the fourth quarter here at El Dorado, Arkansas. Greyhounds basketball. Good defense by the Stars. Stars basketball. Rebound Charity Watkins. Watkins is one of the quickest players I've seen. She's got the ball. Davis has the ball. She's in the paint. Passes back to Forte. She looks. Boom. She shot. A little bit off the mark. Greyhounds basketball. Pass that goes in. Greyhounds pass. That's a good ball movement. Real good ball movement by the Lady Greyhounds. Delaney. And an assist from Lockett. Stars basketball. I like the fight in the Lady Stars. Coming in, playing a top ranked team. Top 10 nationally. They've kept their head up and they're still playing good defense, still moving the ball, still scoring. Forte with the ball, passes to Hall. Hall's gonna shoot that. Oh, she got traveling call. She should have went with her first instincts and shot. Turnover ball goes to the Lady Greyhounds. 247 left in the fourth quarter. Remain left in the game. Lady Greyhounds basketball. Top of the key. Lock it. Number two. Passes into the paint. Good ball movement. Lady Greyhounds. Hands up, Stars. Pass to Lock it in the paint. Good defense, Lady Stars. Good steal by Dar Darby Forte. She has the ball. Driving on the left side. She's going to shoot that. I know. And she got foul. Darby Forte at the line for the Lady Stars for two. Forte is shooting at a 63% clip from the free throw line. As she gathers herself, Stars need both of these. Also want to give a shout out to ASU Mid-South, former colleague, Mr. Gerard Pope. Darby makes first shot. Forte has one remaining. Shot is up. Off the mark. Offensive rebound, Lady Stars. Madison Hall with the ball. Back to Charity Watkins. Shot is up. Off the mark. Watkins goes in. Tries to get the rebound. Ball goes over to the Lady Greyhounds. All right. Just right at the two-minute mark in the fourth quarter. Lady Greyhounds basketball. Passing to the paint. Caitlin Lopez. Lopez. Once she gets in that paint, gets that ball up. It's kind of hard to defend. Dynasty Davis with the ball for the Lady Stars. She does a good job. There you go. She does a good job of handling the ball. Good defense by the Lady Greyhounds. And they're off and running. Lady Greyhounds on fast break point. That's Lockett with the two. I tell you, that tandem is pretty good. Lockett. And Delaney. All right, your Lady Stars. Hollingsworth with the ball. If she gets open, she's going to shoot it nine times, times ten. She's going to make it. Good move by Forte. Forte has come out hot in the second half. 115 left in the fourth quarter. Lady Greyhounds, Lady Stars. Lady Greyhound, Lady Stars, good defense. Ball looks like it goes out. Where's it going to go? Ref says the ball possession goes to Lady Greyhounds. We're sitting at one minute and five seconds left in the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. As you miss out, Lady Greyhounds lane five. The South Park Lady Stars 53. Stars in the zone defense. Three-point shot by the Lady Greyhounds. It's off. Good defense. Good defensive rebound by Darby Forte for your Lady Stars. She's taking it. She's pushing. It. She's gonna shoot it. Ah! She loses it out of bounds. She made up her mind when she got that ball. She was gonna take it to the hole. Good thought, Miss Forte. Forty seconds left. As you mid south possession. Again, Ruth. About 10 or 15 minutes after this game, we'll have a matchup between the ASU Mid South men. The South Arkansas Stars men looking for a great game. 
We will turn the play-by-play -play announcing over to our president, Dr. Bentley Wallace, at that time. Lady Greyhouse ball fouled by Shelby, Shelby Beelan for the Stars. Lady Greyhounds are in the bonus. Two shots. Delaney is at the line. Delaney's a 60% free throw shooter. She's at the line for two. First shot is up. Off the mark. One shot left. Second shot by Delaney. It's up. It's off the mark as well. Offensive rebound, that's been the theme for Lady Greyhounds. And they retain possession. They had a spill, Shelby Beelan had a spill chasing, hustling and chasing a ball that was going out of bounds. That's what I said, ladies and gentlemen. Even though the Stars were, were, were playing a top 10 team in the nation, they have not, they have not given up the fight, diving after loose balls. 14 seconds left, Trees Wright. Hollingsworth brings the ball up the court for your Lady Stars. She's calling out a play. And I'll tell you, if she finds a seam, she's going to shoot it too. Good pass into Shelby Beeland. She has the ball. Just like she could have got fouled. All right, ladies and gentlemen. And that's it. Your that's final it. Score. Game's over. Arkansas State University, Mid South. Lady Greyhounds 97. South Ark Shooting Your South Ark Stars, Stars 53. 53. Good showing by both Coming teams. I want to thank everyone who's listening in on our live stream. We're going to take a pause for a little while. And then in about 15 or 20 minutes, we're going to start our men's game. And we're looking for a great game for that as well. Thank you for being with us. Students, you heard the earlier announcements. Be sure to govern yourselves accordingly as well. At this time, we're going to turn it back over to our entertainment and media, arts, media art folks here at South Arkansas Community College. Enjoy the rest of the evening, folks. This is Derek Moore signing off.
Welcome to South Arkansas Community College men's basketball. Tonight, your South Ark Stars take on the Greyhounds from ASU Mid-South. ASU Mid-South in West Memphis, Arkansas. Travel to El Dorado tonight for the women's and men's game. Women's game concluded about 30 minutes ago. ASU Mid-South victorious in that competition, 97 to 53 over your South Ark Stars women's team. Tonight's men's game promises to be a barn burner. The ASU Mid-South Greyhounds come in undefeated and ranked number three in the nation in NJCAA Division II basketball. Third ranked Mid ASU Mid-South undefeated coming into tonight's game, averaging 107 points per game on the season. Putting lots of points up and your, your South Ark Stars tonight Ready to go, final warm-ups, a minute 45 left on the warm-up clock. We'll have a starting lineup announcement and then we'll be ready to play ball. Full roster tonight for your South Ark Stars at the 1940 South Arkansas Community College Gymnasium. Thanks for joining us here on the South Ark YouTube channel, all of our South Ark Stars fans and all of our fans from ASU Mid-South, our friends, our partners, our two-year college friends at ASU Mid-South, Chancellor Deborah West, couldn't make the trip tonight, but we know she's watching. Glad to have her as a partner in education in Arkansas. Your South Ark Stars starting lineup will be announced shortly. I want to go ahead and say thank you to the entire game day crew. It takes a village to put on a basketball game, and thanks to the Officiating crew in the in the stands for South Ark, running the clock, running the scoreboard, the first financial bank scoreboard here at South Ark Gymnasium. Thanks to the game day video and broadcast crew making this live broadcast on our YouTube channel possible. So just seconds away from the announcement of the starting lineup, we'll listen to the PA announcer for that, and then we'll be playing basketball. South Ark Stars and 
ASU Mid-South Greyhounds. Thank you to Dr. Derek Moore, athletic director for South Arkansas Community College, who called the women's game earlier tonight. Great job, Dr. Moore. Thank you for that. Here come the starting lineups. Mid-South Greyhounds basketball team. Number one from Kinsett, J.T. Smith. Number three from Jonesboro, Kevin Fulton. Number 11 from Sherwood, Kylan McCuff. Number 24 from Armor Hall, Monroe Clark. And number two, your reigning NJCAA Player of the Week, Darlin, stay with me, Sam Smith. Your head coach for the Greyhounds. Chris Parker, and now, oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, they are back and better than ever. It is the South Arc Shooting Stars starting lineup. <clears throat> Number two from Strong, lead champion. Also from Number Strong, number three, Didi Davis. Number 12, from Roskip, Keontae Coleman. Number 22, from Waldo, <coughs> Keepy Strickland. And number 13, in the area code, 870. It's number 13 from Junction City. It's <coughs> number 13, back for the shooting stars, Jorodney, Bubatuck. Bubba Tubbs rounds out the starting lineup for the South Arc Stars as they take the floor, get ready for men's basketball action from the South Arkansas Community College Gymnasium. Ball is on the court. Stars are ready for the tip. Number three, Darian Davis at the center stripe for the Stars. Looking for that opening tip, and we're ready to play ball. Second attempt. Loose ball, out of bounds will be Stars basketball to start the game. Keevy Strickland, number 22, to take the ball out. Inbounds to league champion. Out to Keontae Coleman. Across the center stripe. Darian Davis outside to Bubba Tubbs. Looks inside, takes it inside. First try is blocked. Pushes back outside to champion. Finding their offensive call. Lead champion drives inside, five on the shot clock. Bubba Tubbs drives up and good. South Arc Stars with the first two points of the game. Jump, jump ball at the other end and South Arc possession. South Arc with good hustle here on the court early in the game. Inbound to Coleman, back to Strickland, back to Coleman again. Back to Strickland, trying to move it up court, find the spot, Darian Davis inside, loose ball. Bubba Tubbs recovers, up and two more points for Bubba Tubbs to start the game. Delay of game call against Bubba Tubbs. Tough first foul on him early in the game. Your star is up 4-0 to zero early. 
ASU Mid-South with their first real offensive possession, up and in for two. One of the ASU players lost a shoe on that play. Trying to get that situation tied up. Ready to play now. Keontae Coleman to inbound the ball. Keevy Strickland. Strickland looks to bring it up court. Back to Coleman. Calling the play, top of the key, Strickland. Back to lead champion now. He drives inside, passes outside to Strickland, who looks to shoot, pull up, jumper, no good. Re rebound, he stepped on the baseline. That's going to be South Arc ball. Shooting stars basketball. First financial bank scoreboard says 18 minutes and 22 seconds remaining in the first half. South Arc stars, 4-2 to two early lead. Bubba Tubbs drives the center. Shooting stars basketball. Out of bounds on ASU Mid-South. ASU Mid-South coming in averaging almost 108 points per game. That average driven up by a huge scoring event against Arkansas Baptist where ASU Mid-South put up 140 points in a single game. South Arc Stars averaging 85 points per game. High scoring season. Uh, based on their ability to rebound the ball, that's that's been effective. Out of bounds on the Stars that time, so. ASU Mid-South, come back down the court. All the starters still in the game. Shot from outside, no good. Rebound by lead champion. Loses the ball, gets the handle back. Outside to Keontae Coleman, pulls up, slows things down. Champion at the top, looking for his play. Inside to Bubba Tubbs, up, shoot. Bubba Tubbs called with the charge. Three-point shot for ASU Mid-South is good. They take the first lead of the night, five to four. Greyhound lead. Inside, Darian Davis for two. His first two points of the game makes it a 6-5 lead for your South Arc Stars. Several attempts by the Greyhounds to get the ball in. No go. Recovered by South Arc. Three-point shot from outside. Keontae Coleman for three. Makes it a 9-5 to five game, South Arc. From outside, missed shot by Kylan McCullough for ASU Mid-South. South Arc Stars back down the court. That's Keevy Strickland for three from outside. No good. Bubba Tub Tubbs tries for the rebound. Can't get it. ASU has numbers coming down. Inside to the big man, Sam Smith. Up and in and one. He'll get to shoot a free throw on that one. Count the basket. Brings the score nine to seven. Sam Smith, the big man. Into the game for Bubba Tubbs. Jaylen. Freshman for ASU Mid-South. Bubba Tubbs gets a break. Jalen Brown into the game for the first time for the South Arc Stars. Free throws good for ASU Mid-South. Makes the score 9-8. to eight. Errant pass from Coleman. Out of bounds, Darian Davis couldn't handle it. Turnover back to ASU Mid-South. 16-20 remaining in the first half. Foul 
number two, Sam Smith. Big man pushed off. Turns the ball over to Southark. Inbound to Lee Champion. Big pass all by himself under the basket. Darian Davis. We had two points. That's four points on the night for him. And uh, ASU Mid South was caught unexpected with a man wide open under the basket there. Easy put in for Darian Davis. Pressure defense from South Arc. Shot clock at 10, inside of the big man too. Sam Smith with two points, makes it a one point game, 11 to 10, 15-35 remaining in the first half. Lead champion drives the middle outside to Darian Davis. There's the foul against ASU Mid-South. Several substitutions now for ASU Mid-South at the right at the four and a half minute mark. Four and a half minutes into the game. Inbound from Keontae Coleman. Finds the lead champion. He drives. Outside. Jalen Brown short on the three-point attempt. Darian Davis tried to get the ball, couldn't get it away. That's going to be a penalty against number two, Lee Champion, his first foul in the game. Shooting foul. That's first foul on Jalen Brown. To the line, shooting two. Jacob Hudson will shoot two for ASU Mid South. First one off the back of the rim, no good. 15 minutes to go in the first half. Stars lead still, 15, 11 to 10. Neither shot good. Rebound goes to your South Ark Stars. Keeby Strickland brings the ball down across half court. Pick set by Jalen Brown. Keeby takes it inside, loses the handle. White ball. Jalen Brown had a hold of it, got knocked out by SU Mid South. So. Strickland inbound the ball. More substitutions for ASU Mid-South. They travel with a large roster. Deep bench for the number three school in the nation, number three team in the nation. Deep pass to half court to Lee Champion. Pick set by Darian Davis. Champion drives up, no good. Rebound by ASU Mid-South. Behind the back, drives the lane, up and in and out. No good. Darian Davis the rebound. Got a man all by himself. Lead champion up and in for two for lead champion. First points on the game for him. Almost gets the steal on the inbound after that. 13 to 10, your South Arc Stars lead. Pass inside is lost. Up again. ASU gets the ball, three-point attempt from outside is good. That makes it a tie game with 14 minutes to go in the first half, 13 to 13. Starter Bubba Tubbs for the Stars on the bench with two early fouls. Champion drives and loses the ball. And ASU Mid-South takes the lead again, 15-13 now. Shot from outside, no good. Nobody under the basket for the Stars. Greyhounds back down the court quickly with numbers. And he traveled, that's a turnover. Shooting Stars basketball. Into the game, Bubba Tubbs. Bubba Tubbs back in the game. 
Jalen Randall into the game for the first time tonight. Jalen Randall to bring the ball down, calls the play. To Darian Davis. Back to Randall, outside to Bubba Tubbs. He's not afraid to shoot from there. He'll drive the middle. Up, no good. Darian Davis with the rebound, the put back, no good. Tubbs with the ball, up and in for Bubba Tubbs. That's six points on the game for Bubba Tubbs tonight, and it's back to a tie game, 15 to 15. Outside for three. He got his first try, didn't get that one. Rebound South Arc. Dar Lee Champion with the ball inside. No. Foul on the floor. No shot, it'll be South Arc ball. Tubbs inbound to Lee Champion. Champion, the leading scorer for the Stars on the season, averaging 18 points per game. And there's two more from Bubba Tubbs. That's eight points on the game for Bubba so far here in the first half. Outside shot, three-point shot is good. Gives ASU Mid-South the lead, 18-17, with 12 minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the first half on the first financial bank scoreboard. Uh, stolen ball. Take away from Bubba Tubbs, up. Oh, it tried to slam, no good. Called a foul on Bubba Tubbs. Not sure where they saw that. Foul number 13, Bubba Tubbs. To the line, shooting two. Jump. That's three on Bubba early in the game. Two shots here. Tyler Everett getting ready to come into the game for your stars for the first time tonight. First shot is up and good. Makes the score 19 to 17. Tyler Everett, number 50, checks into the game. Second shot, no good. Recovered by the stars. Jalen Randall to Tyler Everett, brings the ball down. Out to Bubba Tubbs, inside to Everett, goes up, and he's fouled. Oh, they're going to call jump ball. That possession arrow to the Greyhounds. 19-17 with 12 minutes remaining in the first half. Shot and a miss the Greyhounds back down lead champion with the ball goes inside dishes off the ball is tipped out of bounds by the Greyhounds be South Arc ball Tyler Everett to inbound Jalen Randall drives to the center looks for the shot outside travel Jalen Brown travel turnover to ASU Mid-South ASU working the right side of the floor, where less height for South Arc. Up and good. 21-17, biggest lead of the night for ASU. Mid-South, four points. <clears throat> lead champion all the way to the basket. Couldn't get it to go. A basket, and he'll shoot one again. That's Sam Smith, big man inside. Second time tonight, he's gotten the bucket and the foul. Up and good, makes the score 24-17. Seven-point deficit now for your Stars with 11 minutes remaining in the first half. Shot 
Shot up and no good. Stars couldn't get the handle on the rebound, but a steal by Bubba Tubbs on the pass. Looking for the shot, alley-oop. That's going to be South Arc ball. Not sure if Bubba was trying to make the shot or make the alley-oop there. Had a couple successful uh, highlight reel plays earlier in the season, but timeout on the floor to get a shoe back on again. Bubba Tubbs to inbound. Inside, Jalen Randall. Shots up, blocked. Bubba Tubbs trying to get that block again. Couldn't get it that time. Greyhounds down the court. Ball is loose inside. Struggle for it. No call of a jump ball yet. Now, finally, and the possession arrow is white right now, so. Back into the game, 22. Markevian Strickland and number three. Number three, Darian Davis. Keevy Strickland inbound. Jalen Randall. Bubba Tubbs by himself on the side. Outside to Strickland for three. Up and good. Three point for Strickland. That's the first points of the game for him. Makes it a 24-20 game. ASU Mid-South in the lead. 10 minutes to go in the first half. Outside shot, no good. In and out. Second attempt, same player. Got the rebound, up again, gets it this time to go. 26-20, ASU Mid-South. Lee Champion slows things down, waits for the play. Inside, loses the handle. Knocked out of bounds by the Greyhounds. Bubba Tubbs to inbound. Bubba Tubbs directing traffic to get that ball inbounded. Outside to Strickland, deep outside, takes the shot for three, up and behind the backboard, out of bounds. Greyhound's ball. Into the game, JT. Outside for Mid-South. Drives to the inside, can't handle it against Bubba Tubbs, up and no good. Got it, rebound by Sam Smith, up and good. Makes it an eight point game. ASU Mid-South, Greyhounds over your South Arc Stars with eight minutes and 50 seconds remaining in the first half. Jalen Randa outside by himself, pulls up. Shots off the side of the rim, no good. ASU Mid-South back down the court. Loose ball, recovered by South Arc. Here comes Keevy Strickland, he's got speed and he's got numbers, takes it himself up and couldn't get it to roll in. There's a reach in foul by Jalen Randall. Into the game, Keontae Coleman and Ryan Franks. Ryan Franks into the game for the first time tonight for your South Arc Stars. Keontae Coleman back in. Jacob Hudson at the line for ASU Mid-South. 28-20. First of a one and one is no good. Rebound by Bubba Tubbs. Back down the court now for you South Arc Stars. Darian Davis with the ball to Keontae Coleman. Coleman brings it across half court himself over to Ryan Franks. Ryan Franks was making every three he tried in warm-ups. I suspect we'll see him try some of those while he's in. Bubba Tubbs from outside with a three-point shot. 
That's 11 points in the first half for Bubba Tubbs and makes it a five point game. Good defense by the Stars, but the ball still went in. Strickland bringing the ball down. Ball taken away by Mid-South. Up and good. It's a nine point lead for ASU Mid-South. Ryan Franks, cross half stripe. Almost stolen again by Sam Smith. Into the game. Carr, Fulton, and champion. Lee Champion, back after a quick break. Darian Davis to inbound, out to Strickland. Out to Lee Champion. Round to Darian Davis who goes inside, up, overshoots, rebound Mid-South. Oh, loses the handle, but the big man is there to pick it up and slam it home. 11 point lead. 34-23 with six minutes and 55 seconds left in the first half. Bubba Tubbs outside then to Keevy Strickland for three. Good shot, just bounced off, recovered by Stars. There's Keontae Coleman with the ball. Out to lead champion. Into Bubba Tubbs, back out to Coleman. And there's a reach in foul against ASU Mid South. Jalen Brown back into the game. Kiwi Strickland getting a well deserved break. Greyhounds have held Lee Champion to only two points so far in the game. Bubba Tubbs from outside, up for three, no good. Foul number 24, Monroe Carr. Foul on the floor. Stars Guess number 24 with ASU Mid-South. Monroe Carr. Inbound to Darian Davis. Outside to lead champion. Champion makes the call. Keontae Coleman outside, drives to the middle, at the free throw stripe, no good. Greyhounds have numbers up and in. Scores now 36-23. Foul on number one, Smith. Foul on the floor. Return to play after a little cleanup on the court. Five minutes, 36 seconds left in the first half. 36-23, ASU Mid-South leading your South Arc Stars. Lee Champion drives inside, can't find the ball. Back inside of Darian Davis, block shot. Bubba Tubbs tips it over to Keontae Coleman from three outside, no good.
Bad pass from ASU Mid-South. Turned over, lead champion Bubba Tubbs inside, up and good for two. That's 13 points on the game for Bubba Tubbs. Quick back down to ASU Mid-South. Outside, three-point shot, number 10, up and good. Can't make much progress trading twos for threes. 39-25. Bubba Tubbs outside. Keontae Coleman, head fake, drives inside. Too much traffic there, loses the handle on the ball. But a stolen pass by Jalen Brown. Gets back down court. Keontae Coleman outside for three, up and off the basket. There's Darian Davis, wrestles the ball away, gets it again, gets his own rebound, up, and he's fouled that time. He'll shoot two. Darian Davis with four points on the game so far tonight. Will shoot two. Crashing the boards hard to get those rebounds. Fighting hard to get that ball and it paid off with a chance to get two more points here from the free throw stripe. Up and good. Second shot coming from Darian Davis. Rebound by Jalen Brown. Out to Coleman. Now to Champion. Champion still looking to find the rhythm here tonight. Drives this time. Fall away. Jumper up and good. Fast break from ASU Mid South. Buckets good. 41 28. Lead champion drives up, shot, no good, but he'll shoot two. Foul number one, Smith, to the line, shooting two, number two, lead champion. This is Dr. Derek Moore, Vice President for Student Services at South Arkansas Community College, Athletic Director at South Arkansas Community College, and keeping the floor dry. Dr. Moore, familiar with this ASU Mid-South team. He spent some time in West Memphis working at ASU Mid-South before making his way to El Dorado. Shot up and good. Greyhounds lost the handle. The Stars ball. 41-29, 12 point lead for the Greyhounds. Three and a half minutes to go in the first half. Lost the handle, out of bounds, but it was last touch by the Greyhounds. We want to welcome all of our Friends from ASU Mid South who are joining us tonight on the South Arc YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. Kickball, Kick still South Arc possession. Darian Davis take the ball out. Keontae Coleman <clears throat> drives in, makes the shot, no good, but Darian Davis there with the rebound outside to lead champion up and no good. <clears throat> Traveling against the Greyhounds, turnover to the Stars. Lee Champion brings the ball across half court. Out to Darian Davis, inside to Bubba Tubbs. Up, shoots. He's, he's fouled on the way 
On the way down, he'll shoot two. To the line, number 13, shooting two, Bubba Tubbs. Bubba Tubbs already has 13 points on the game. First of two shots is up and good for Bubba. Second shot up and it's good too. Bubba Tubbs now with 15 points on the game. Greyhounds drive inside, no good, off the rim. Scramble for the ball. Ball is loose, and he stepped out. That's gonna be white ball. Stars, basketball. A lot of turnovers tonight for ASU Mid-South. Darian Davis, lead champion, bring the ball down, cross half court, slowing things down, and a timeout. Stars, your score, Greyhounds, 41, shooting stars, 31. 41-31, 10-point lead, ASU Mid-South, 226 remaining in the first half. Timeouts brought to you by the Boomtown Bistro at South Ark. Boomtown Bistro serving breakfast and lunch Monday through Friday. The Boomtown Bistro proudly serving Starbucks coffee. Ten-point deficit for your South Ark Stars. Jalen Brown back in the game for the Stars. Bub Tub drives to the middle. That may be number four on Bubba Tubbs in the first half. Oh, stolen ball by Keontae Coleman. Brings it back down, it's loose. Darian Davis tried to call timeout before the jump ball call. Couldn't get the call from the official, so it'll be ASU Mid-South ball. There's Keevy Strickland coming into the game. Going to give Bubba Tubbs a break. ASU Mid-South from outside, three points off the back of the rim, no good. Jalen Brown with the foul. To the line, shooting two. Be two shots. Jaron Harriet to the line for ASU Mid-South. First of two is up and good. Second shot, no good, recovered by Darian Davis, number three for South Ark Stars. Keontae Coleman brings the ball down, sets the play outside, lead champion, loose ball, tip, he gets it back, drives inside himself. That time the ball got away from him, couldn't recover. Fulton, 
Kevin Fulton with the putback for two makes it 44-31, 13-point game with a minute 20 to play in the first half. A long first half. Long first half. The officials have been slow to get the ball back in. Lee Champion to the line. To the line, shooting two, Champion. Up and good for Champion. Second shot, no good. Rebound by ASU Mid-South. Slower pace from the Greyhounds now than what we've seen in the earlier parts of the game. There's Kevin Fulton, number three again with Bucket. Inside a minute now, 46-32, 14-point lead. Strickland inside, takes it himself. Knocked down, blocked, no call. Outside, Jeremiah Jones for the Greyhounds. Looks at a three-point shot, doesn't take it. Out to Chiron, please. Inside, takes the shot, up and good for two more with 10 seconds remaining on the clock. First half, time for one more shot. Foul called against South Arc. 3.7 seconds remaining. ASU Mid-South will have time to inbound and try one shot. Foul number two, champion. No bucket to end the half. 48-32. 16-point lead for your against your South Arc Stars. 48-32. We'll take a break and be back for the second half action. ASU Mid-South Greyhounds against your South Arc Stars.
Welcome back to South Ark Stars Basketball. Your South Arkansas Community College men's stars are playing the ASU Mid-South Greyhounds. Traveled over from West Memphis, Arkansas tonight. Our friends at ASU Mid-South in the house. 48-32, the score at halftime. ASU Mid-South up over your South Ark Stars as we return to play for the second half. And here come the Undefeated Greyhounds come in tonight. Undefeated on the season and ranked number three in NJCAA Division II basketball in the nation. Your stars come in four and two. In the game to start the second half for your stars. Kiwi Strickland, Keontae Coleman, Darian Davis, Bubba Tubbs, and lead champion. There's a steal by the, the Greyhounds early in the second half. They've got numbers. And the dunk to start the second half. Gets them to exactly 50, half of 100, and they average 108 points per game. Lee Champion around the left side, dishes off to Darian Davis, up and good. First two points of the second half for your stars by Darian Davis. He had five in the first half. 24 for the Mid-South, loses the handle. Lee Champion picks it up, passes out to Darian Davis behind his back. Looks for the outlet. Strickland on the outside to Coleman. Bubba Tr Tubbs in foul trouble early in the game. Trying to see how long he can stay in the second half. Lee Champion drives, loses his handle, put outside to Strickland, up off the rim. Bubba Tubbs recovers, rebound. He's going to go up, up and in for first two points of the half for Gerardney Bubba Tubbs. Outside, three points off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound by Coleman. South Ark Star is a strong rebounding team. Tubbs inside by himself, up, can't get it to go. Rebound by the big freshman, Sam Smith. Outside, Fulton for three. He's had several on the game. Greyhounds extend their lead, 52-36 as we start the second half. Darian Davis looks inside, drives. He traveled before they could call the foul on the Greyhounds. A big Greyhound ball. Time out on the floor as we clean up a little bit. Greyhounds, a fast paced team. Inside pass, dish to the big man and is denied by Darian Davis, who's Coach Nate Davis thinks that's a block, but it'll be recorded as a uh, as a shooting foul. Sam Smith, tall freshman for ASU Mid South, up and good. Both free throws are good, makes it 54-36. Pressure defense from Mid-South. Pass inside to Tubbs, big push off by Bubba Tubbs, no call. Lee Champion up and good. His first points of the second half, eight total on the game for Champion. Leading score for, a, for the Stars, averages right over 18 points a game. Good pressure from the Stars. Three-point shot from outside, no good. Rebound, Lee Champion. Brings the ball down, gonna take it in himself. Looks for the outlet, doesn't need it, puts it in himself. Defense. 
Stars cut into that Mid-South Lee. There's a shot from outside. Off the rim, no good. There's Keontae Coleman with an, a rebound. Lead champion drives again, pulls back, up and in. That's three in a row for lead champion. Six in the second half, 12 total on the game for champion. He's coming alive here in the second half. And there's a timeout from ASU Mid-South. 54-33. Lead got to as high as 18, now back to 11. Friendly reminder, you can listen and watch online nationwide on the YouTube page, South Arc Community College. South Arc's men's and women's teams travel tomorrow to Harrison, Arkansas, to play two games on Saturday against the Pioneers at North Arkansas College. The winter weather over the past couple of weeks slowed games down lots of cancellations postponements reschedules and so the next several weeks will be busy ones for your south arc stars several games over the course of two weeks coming up as we get into march it'll be march madness for your south arc stars as they play on the road and at home several times a week Long timeout allowed by the officials. Pressure defense and a takeaway by your South Arc Stars. Keontae Coleman had the ball. Stripped away and two points by the Greyhounds. Lee Champion slows things down, waits for his team to get set. Looks inside. And Lee Champion called for the foul. Inbound by the Greyhounds. 16 minutes to go in the game. 13 point lead for the Greyhounds. Fulton dishes off to Smith. Up and good from the free throw stripe for Smith. Foul on the floor against ASU Mid-South. Darian Davis to inbound the ball. Keevy Strickland out to Keontae Coleman. Drives inside, loses the handle off of a Greyhound. South Arc ball. Darian Davis inbounds to lead champion. Champion drives the center. He's held up, gets the ball to Coleman. He's going to kick it out to Strickland. No good. Bubba Tubbs with the rebound and the putback. That's going to be a shooting foul. Looked like he traveled as he went in there. Keontae Coleman with the foul. Good aggressive defense. Nobody's upset about that foul. Up and no good. Second shot up and it's no good. Bubba Tubbs with the rebound. Keevy Strickland bring the ball down. Calls the play. Keontae Coleman drives. Nowhere to go. Strickland from outside for three. 
Off the side of the backboard. Greyhounds have number inside, up and in for JT Smith. Makes it 60 to 44, 16 point game with 14 minutes and 45 seconds remaining. Outside, Lee Champion, no good. Rebound by Sam Smith for the Greyhounds. Again, fast down the court. Outside from the big man for three, no good. Rebound, Lee Champion. Lee Champion takes it all the way. Can't get it to go, but he's fouled by Monroe Carr. Carr has seemed very surprised every time he's fouled tonight. Can't seem to believe it. Lee Champion to the line. He's got 12 points on the game. Second time to go to the free throw stripe tonight, and he gets the first one to go. Jalen Brown comes in to give Keevy Strickland a break. Second foul shot for Lee Champion coming up. He's good for two again. Makes it 60 to 46, 14 point game. They're gonna call that a shooting foul. Foul number 13, Bubba Tubbs. That's on Bubba Tubbs. His fourth. That's his fourth foul. Jeremiah Young getting ready to come in for your stars. Free throw, first of two, up and no good. Here comes Jeremiah Young. Gonna give Bubba Tubbs a break with those four fouls. Second free throw shot. Is up and good. 61-46, 14 minutes remaining in the game. Keontae Coleman brings the ball down. Out to Jalen Brown, to Darian Davis. Drives the center, up and fouled. No bucket, but he'll shoot two. Second, second time to shoot free throws tonight. He made one in the first half. He has seven points total on the game, five in the first half, two in the second half. First shot is up and good for Darian Davis. Second shot for Darian Davis coming up. Up and good for Darian Davis. Outside for the Greyhounds, off the rim, no good. Over the back call against Sam Smith. Jeremiah, Jeremiah Young draws the foul. Darian Davis inbounds Keontae Coleman. Loose ball. Last touch by the Greyhounds will be Stars ball. Coleman outside. Now Darian Davis looks to go inside. Ball is tipped. It'll be Stars ball again. 16 remaining on the shot clock. 13 and a half minutes in the game, 61-48. Stars hanging tough with the number three team in the nation. Ball is up and no good. Loose ball. 
Pass was too high for even Sam Smith to rein in. Another turnover. Another chance for your stars to close this gap. 61-48 on the first financial bank scoreboard. Lead champion out to Keontae Coleman, then to Darian Davis. Pass got away from Davis. Big Greyhound ball on the turnover. That tip ball, great steal on the pass. Smith was trying to feed Fulton, got away, and there's a loose ball as well. Fulton on the break, up and good for two. Darian Davis by himself outside for two. That's six in, six in this half for Darian Davis. Davis averaging just shy of 13 points a game so far on the season. Three-point shot is up, in, and out. Davis with the rebound. Over to Coleman. Lee Champion slows it down, waits for the pick from Jeremiah. Goes around the outside, up and in. Oh, no, no good. Wow. It went in, they, they called that against the Stars, surprisingly. Found champion his fourth. That's four on champion. Jeremiah Young sits down. Darian Davis still in the game. T.A. Ellis, first year player for the South Ark Stars. First time in the game tonight for Ellis. A great, that's a great block. They're gonna call it. They're gonna jump call a jump ball. Great work by Jalen Brown there. Possession arrow to the Greyhounds. He traveled. That's gonna be a turnover. Stars basketball. T.A. Ellis brings the ball down. Ellis looks to go in all the way on his own and does. And, oh, they called that against the Stars. That's twice in a row where we should have been shooting after the two points and instead is called the other direction. Great move by T.A. Ellis to the inside. All by himself, up and in, and the call went the other way. Coach Nate Davis can't believe that happened twice in a row. There's a travel. Stars basketball. Number four, Jordan Rainey for the Greyhounds. Lost the handle as he was trying to drive the basket. T.A. Ellis comes down again. He looks for another option to try and get his first points of the game. Outside to Keontae Coleman. Great passing by your stars. Outside, three points. High arcing shot, no good, but he did beat the shot clock. Up and in by Jaron Harriet. Makes it a 15 point game, 65-50 with 10 and a half minutes to play. T.A. Ellis, there was a reach in foul that wasn't called. Outside for Jalen Brown for three. That's his first points of the game. And he, he makes it count with a three-pointer. 
Get your stars within 12 here with 10 minutes to play in the second half. Spin move up and no good. Put back is good for the Greyhounds. Jalen Randall brings the ball down. Outside to Coleman. Back to Jalen Brown. T.A. Ellis wants the ball. Jalen Brown drives in, shoots, and he is fouled. He'll shoot two. Nine forty five remaining, sixty seven fifty three. ASU Mid South Greyhounds lead your South Arc Stars. To the line, shooting two, Jalen Brown. Up and good for Jalen Brown. Into the game, Sam Smith. Bubba Tubbs waiting to come in the game. Both shots good for Jalen Brown. He's going to get a break as Bubba Tubbs. Let's go. 12-point lead for the Greyhounds after those two shots by Jalen Brown. Strong defense by your stars. Tip ball. Smith, good for two on the inside. T.A. Ellis brings the ball back down for your stars. Calls the play. Outside to Bubba Tubbs. Keontae Coleman thought about the deep three, now pulls up for two off the rim. T.A. Ellis saves the ball, back out to Coleman. Coleman fights for it, but it's taken away by the Greyhounds. Ah. Uh, up and good, T.A. Ellis called for the foul. Jordan Rainey will shoot number 15, an extra. To the line for the N1, Jordan Rainey. Into the game, Lee Champion. Lee Champion returns the game for you stars. He has four fouls, as does Bubba Tubbs. Rainey makes the extra shot, makes it 72-55. Ball got loose from the Stars. Inside of the big man, in and out, can't get it to go. Davis lost the handle, Smith gets it back and puts it back. Shooting Stars basketball. Steal attempt didn't work out that time. Into the game, Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown back in the game, giving Darian Davis a break. Jalen Randall to inbound the ball. Keontae Coleman to Lee Champion, drives the lane. Ball comes loose, he gets it back. And probably could have been called a flagrant foul there on number five, Jeremiah Jones. Not called by the officials. Jeremiah Jones. 10 line, shooting two, Lee Champion. Champion of the line. He's made all the free throws he's had so far tonight. Eight points in the second half, six in the first. First shot is up and good. And that's 16 points on the game for Lee Champion with eight minutes and 10 seconds to play. He's on pace to exceed his average. 
There's an outside shot by the big man for three. Deep from outside by Champion, no good. Up and in for Spencer Symes. Keontae Coleman brings the ball down. Biggest lead of the night for the Greyhounds, 79-57. Champion outside for three, off the rim, no good. Deep shot for Rainey for three, and it's good. Greyhounds extend their lead, 82-57, with seven minutes remaining in the game. Keontae Coleman from, from outside, ball's loose. That's going to be a foul on Jalen Randall. We'll send Jordan Rainey. Number four fouls number four. Foul number four, Smooth Randall. To the line, shooting to Rainey. Rainey's first shot is up, and it is good. Into the game, Kiwi and Ryan. Ryan Franks saw about two minutes of action in the first half. He's back for the first time in the second half. Kiwi Strickland back in. Franks brings the ball down court. Off to lead champion. Champion drives the center. To the line for the one and one, Lee Champion. Lee Champion back to the line. Chance to add to the points he's put up in this game. That's 16 so far. Trying to add two more here with the one and one. First one is up and it is good. He'll get to shoot again. Second's good as well. Makes it 83-59. Not sure what they called there on Jalen Brown, but Greyhounds will get to shoot a one and one here. Missed the front end of it. Rebound by Bubba Tubbs. Kiwi Strickland brings the ball down. Looks to Ryan Franks. Franks around the side to Jalen Brown. Brown drives in the middle. Passes the ball. Strickland reach in foul against Jeremiah Jones. Foul number five, Jones. Strickland will shoot one and one. Darian Davis back in the game. Give Jalen Brown a breather. Strickland's first shot of the 1-1 one -one is up and good. His, fir his first points of the second half.
And the second is good. Strickland has five points on the game total. Up and good for the Greyhounds, 85-61, under six minutes to play. 24-point lead. Lead was as high as 25 at one point in the second half. Shot up and good. Lead champion will go to the line again and shoot two. He scored eight from the free throw line so far tonight. Made every shot he's had. Makes the first. Second shot from Champion is up and it is good again. He's 100% tonight on free throws. 85-63, 22 point lead for the Greyhounds from ASU Mid-South. Shot is up and good. Champion drives inside, up, and in and out. Darian gets the rebound, and he'll shoot two when he's fouled. Darian Davis had five points in the first half, six so far in the second. That's fifth foul on Jeremiah Jones. Fouling out of the game, Jeremiah Jones. Into the game, Fulton. Darian Davis. Up and good. As the thunder rumbles outside of South Arkansas Community College Gymnasium, Darian Davis, second shot is up and it is good as well. Makes it a 22 point game. 87-65 on the first financial bank scoreboard. Good hustle by Ryan Franks. Bats down the pass. Darian Davis loses the ball, gets it back all by himself underneath. Can't make it go. Gets the put back. Gets it again. Goes up again and gets the points. Let's go, D. Let's go, Stars. Let's go. Let's go. Kiwi Strickland called for a foul on the floor during the inbound. It's 10 points in the second half for Darian Davis, 15 total on the game. Came into tonight's game averaging just shy of 13 points a game. Outperforming tonight against this number three ranked team from West Memphis. First shot is no good. Back end is good. Makes it 88-67. Bubba Tubbs out to Strickland for three. Can't get it to go. Darian Davis saves the ball. Back to Tubbs. Cross the court to Ryan Franks. He'll shoot for three. No good. Rebound by the big man, Sam Smith. Greyhounds back down the court. Travel. Jordan Rainey, who's been rock solid in the second half, turns it over to the Stars. Tyler Everett to come into the game for Ryan Franks. Tyler Everett saw a few minutes of play time in the first half. And into the game, number 21, please. Inbound to lead champion. Champions played. Almost every minute of the game. 
Looks for an alley, gonna take it himself inside. Darian Davis can't handle the ball. Out of bounds, turnover to the Greyhounds. Four minutes to play. Timeout called. Timeout's brought to you by the Boomtown Bistro. The Boomtown Bistro at South Arkansas Community College's West Campus in beautiful downtown El Dorado. Stop by the Boomtown Bistro. Breakfast and lunch. Snacks anytime. Breakfast and lunch Monday through Friday. The Boomtown Bistro at South Ark proudly serving Starbucks coffee. Thanks to our game day crew. Thanks to our broadcast crew making all this possible on our YouTube channel. Three minutes, 51 seconds to play, 90 to 67. 23 point lead for the Greyhounds from ASU Mid-South. Not the biggest lead of the second half. Lead was 25 at one point. The South Ark Stars basketball uh, following the timeout. Keontae Count, Coleman over to Darian Davis, out to Strickland. No good on the three. Tra looked like a travel. Ball's up, and Tyler Everett recovers, loses the handle on the pass, up and good for Jerry and Harriet. One time for Spencer. Into the game, number one, J.T. Smith. Tyler Everett inbound to Kiwi Strickland. To Bubba Tubbs. Tubbs takes it all the way inside, can't get it to go, gets his own rebound. Fights for it again. There's over the back, no call. Greyhound ball. That was a travel, no call. Maybe I should get a striped shirt instead of a microphone. Good rebound by Darian Davis once again. Loses the handle, gets it back. Tyler Everett with it. Timeout called by Darian Davis. Had the possession arrow. Timeouts brought to you by the Boomtown Bistro. Two minutes, 51 seconds remain. 90, 92, 67. Your South Ark Stars performing well tonight against this number three ranked team in the nation from West Memphis. 92-67, Tyler Everett for the Stars to inbound the ball. Bubba Tubbs out there with four fouls. Wants the ball inside. Darian Davis takes it inside, up. He'll shoot two. Back to the line. Be the sixth time that he's drawn a shooting foul tonight. Still 100% on free throws tonight. Jalen Randall into the game for Bubba Tubbs. Second shot from Darian Davis. Up and good. That's 16 points in the second half alone for him. 22, to 24, 22 total in the game.
Inside to Cullen Brown, first time in the game for him, tall man from West Memphis. Outside Strickland up two, no good. Off the rim, back down with the Greyhounds. No foul called on that, and then inside for two. Makes it 96-69. Biggest lead of the second half now, 27 points for the Greyhounds. Outside, short for Strickland, no good from three. Number 21 by himself. Chiron, please, gets two more, gets them to 98. Close to the century mark now for the Greyhounds. Jalen Randall, that should be South Arc ball. Greyhounds. But it's called the other direction. T.A. Ellis for Kiwi. Kiwi Strickland gets a break as T.A. Ellis comes in. 98-69 with a minute and a half to go in the game. Inside, no good. Rebound again, Darian Davis. Putting up impressive numbers on the rebound, on the boards. Darian Davis takes it all the way in himself, gets his own rebound, pushes it out. T.A. Ellis. Outside to Keontae Coleman, 4-3. Up and good. Coleman gets his second basket of the night. Both of those three points, one in the first, one in the second. That's a travel not called. <laughs> We're going to remain Greyhound ball. Darian Davis thought he was going to get a break, but not quite yet. 49.7 seconds to play. Greyhound ball, 98-72. Two-shot foul on... Jalen Brown. 98-72, 26-point game, 48.1 seconds remaining. Not going to be the outcome that the Stars would have hoped for, hope for a win every time, but a great game against this phenomenal ASU Mid-South Greyhound team. Great performance by your stars tonight. Lots to be proud of tonight. Second shot is up and good. Makes it 99-72. 45 seconds. Ellis brings it down out to Coleman. Coleman looks at three, decides not to take it. Jalen Randall inside, back out to Coleman. Coleman will shoot for three this time. Up, no good. Rebound by Brown. Shot clock still on with 24 seconds to go. About a half second difference between shot clock and play clock. Inside, up, and good. That gets them to 101 with 17 seconds to play. 101 to 72. Greyhounds came into the game tonight averaging 108 points per game. Darian Davis outside. That's Keontae Coleman for three. Can't get it to go. Three seconds to go. Greyhounds will hold the ball, and that's where we'll end it. 101-72. Greyhounds came to town and beat the men's and women's teams. Wish them well on their trip back home tonight. Thanks for joining us on the live broadcast of your South Arc Stars men's team. We'll see you at home again soon for another home game. Thanks to the game day crew, the broadcast crew. Thanks for watching your South Arc Stars. Good night.